Hi everybody! Today's video was going to be empties, used up a bunch of different things. Um, before I start, I'll just say like this is a little bit different setup than I had before. I've changed into my master bedroom where I also have a sitting room that I'm kind of converting into my new makeup area. It's not complete. There's not really stuff on the walls and there's still paintings to be hung and so on. I'm missing a bit of furniture, but when it's done, maybe I'll just do a quick little tour of the area. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'm going to jump in because I used up a lot of skincare and obviously hair stuff and the usual thing. So I'll just get started. Start off with some skincare because it's something that I probably buy more than I do makeup. Um, this was the Camu Camu. This is the um, brightening moisturizer that came in that kit that I picked up back in, I think it was November. And I really enjoyed it. It was one of the pump type. And I even removed the little stopper to try and get out the, the last of it. This was not full size. It was sort of like a deluxe sample size. Um, I would like to buy this. I don't know when. I just find it, it's a tad pricey, so I enjoyed having it in that kit. Um, next was something from another kit. I'm, I'm definitely a person who likes to buy things in kits. This was the Ole Hendrickson, the Invigorating Night Gel. Um, I mean, there's like Zippo left, but it was a gel, and at first that took me a while to get into it. I was kind of not thrilled with that feeling of the gel on my skin, but I really love the effects that I got from this, and I would purchase this again. I think now it comes in a pump, like the vitamin C serum, so which is probably better than having an open jar for for a gel product, but uh, it, it also it helps when you have breakouts, and I did see a difference every time that I used it. I felt in the morning that any inflammation that I had from some breakouts, and I don't know, my skin just looked brighter and nicer in the morning, so I would, I would definitely purchase that. What else did I have? Um, it's not necessarily makeup, but it's uh, something that I, I absolutely adore this L'Oreal Silky Sheer BB SPF 50. It's not like, it's the thin kind, you shake it up, there's a little ball in there, and it's very watery. I have another one because um, I, I just find it's such an easy SPF to wear. Usually, ugh, I don't like, you know, like that feeling on my skin and it feels white and thick and this is tinted and it's really, really nice. So if you're looking for a uh, SPF for your face that doesn't feel like it, that's definitely one to check out. I'm just going to get rid of, they're not completely finished, but there's they've just been hanging around too long so to me they're like empty uh, it's the what is this Maybelline Superstay um, I had two colors the sand, pure beige and sand beige um, I would mix them I don't know I just sort of was over over them and I hadn't used them for a long time that I feel like they've gone off so that's like an empty uh, the Biotherm Biosource um, facial toner and it's a hydrating one. I really like this and I did pick up another one because I liked it that much. A little bit, I had a little bit left. This one I really like as well. This is in their older packaging. This is the Caudalie, the moisturizing toner and this is really nice. It was just, I think at the time I just found it a little bit pricey for a toner but I really did enjoy it so I'm not saying I won't purchase that again bunch of Stoyvectin stuff. Um, this is an older version of the Stoyvectin SD, the eye cream. I even cut it out and scraped out the last bit of it. I got it in a kit at Winners. So um, yeah, it was, I don't think they, even, I'm not sure if they even make this formula anymore, but I really liked it. It was, it, it hydrated the eye area well and, but it was very thin and that was nice. I had also went through this deluxe um, sample of the Stryvectin EV, so it's a vitamin C active uh, brightening serum. Um, I this is not full size. Full size, I don't think is that much, you know, bigger. I have purchased it in the past when it was an older packaging and they had a little sort of silicone tip on it. I think this is much better in a pump. So um, I, I do really enjoy Stryvectin products. They are they are great product. Um, another Strivectin, yes, a Strivectin. This is the SD Intense Corrective 
this is stretch marks and wrinkles and um, I really like this I think I'm just gonna cut off the top to try and get out the last bit of it and one last thing from Strivectin yes it's um this one is an overnight facial it's just a dropper um, it had well there's a little bit left but I was thinking it was going off so I would not for myself I've used this in the past but I would not run out and buy it again I don't know it just I didn't I didn't feel like it did anything for me so that one I wouldn't purchase again I have also a Peter Thomas Roth I know that won't pick it up it's way too white it's the ultra light oil free moisturizer this was also in a kit that I when I bought something I had different samples this was nice for travel it was convenient compact but I don't know again if I would go out even though I love so many of his products I don't think this is one that I'd say oh I must it's a must have for me I finished up one of my tried and true eye creams that I I just love them I just love this eye cream it's the all about the eyes the rich formula it's super rich and this is a smaller size I could pick up the bigger size but I just like the fact that it lasts I don't know it has a six months uh, best before on it so I feel like I prefer to get one in a smaller size and be done with it and start with a fresh one so anyways that a couple of mascaras this mega I never mega plus volume express it was okay I like the I like the brush on it but this wobbly thing was too weird for me I felt like it's so flexible and I don't really get the point of that it sometimes it would, you'd go through your eyelashes and you'd spring up and it would touch your your brow bone I, I don't know the brush and the formula I have no problem with but the wonky thing I didn't really get that so I don't know if I repurchase it from for that reason um, this is uh, the L'Oreal uh, voluminous original again not I don't know why I thought I I used to wear this mascara and I thought I liked it maybe it was the carbon black one I'm not sure but anyways for me that was just okay I wouldn't I wouldn't purchase that again I'm having a lot of things that I wouldn't repurchase but that's how it goes um, I had a Tarte gifted um, sample it came in a 500 points box that I had um, it was okay I just traditional wand didn't blow me away either so I wouldn't purchase that either <laughs> um, and then I finished up this is the darker one the define a brow the Maybelline in the dark brown and I just ran out of that today uh, what do I have uh, a lip I love these Nivea uh, lip things I just lip balm lip hydrator um, I just find that they're really good and I always put these on before lip gloss and lipstick and just I feel like to add a nice base and I also have one with the SPF uh, hair stuff this Fido soy jojoba shampoo I received this um, I was at Sephora and the, actually the rep from the company was there that day and she was handing out some samples and I had tried a small conditioner from them that I had like that they put in your bag once in a while so I was looking at the hair products and she she gave me this to try out and I really liked it in the end um, during the VIB sale that just went on in April I ended up buying full size so it's a hydrating um, shampoo with uh, jojoba oil and coconut oil it's really really nice so and it smells it's it smells really nice it has that nice a nice almost pina colada kind of smell so that that's really nice as far as drugstore shampoos I went through a big uh, Pantene Ultimate 10. Um, I like this one, but I think there's another one. I'll kind of alternate, but I don't know. I'm not sure about if I would purchase this one again. I liked it at first, and then maybe by the end of the big bottle, I was getting a bit tired of it. So I have another different kind in my shower now. My hair mousse, the Tresemme. Tresemme makes good mousses. This is the uh, Extra Hold. Um, I like that one. A hairspray I don't think I've ever had a hairspray in my empties videos or if I did it was a long time ago so that's how little hairspray I go through but the Garnier the hold and flex ultimate control hairspray I like this one because you can 
still, I don't know, even when my hair is like this, okay, it's a bit crunchy, but um, that's from a lot of other stuff I put in. Anyways, this is really good hairspray and it has a nice smell. And for me, the smell is important because I can't stand, sometimes I'll, I'll try a product. If I can't stand the smell, I'll give it away right away. So I went through also a Pantene um, spray gel and the Infusium. This one was the um, Moringa oil. So I really like that. Infusium is great. And last was just my usual, unexciting but very good, uh, St. Ives Natural Soothing, the Oatmeal and Shea Butter Body Lotion. So I think that was it for my empties. Anyways, I picked up a few more skincare products of something new, so maybe I'll do a little review on what I've been using lately, and that'll be coming up soon. So anyways, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye, everybody.